All right, the project at hand for today is to replace this goofy little seven pin setup with some mini going into a regular seven pin flat connector. A couple reasons. One, the uh, battery, emergency battery here for when the breakaway switch is triggered to engage the brakes. It's not being charged. Well, there's no charge wire on it to keep it up, so you gotta replace that thing every now and then. And then there's some other issues with you know these butt connectors. You know, they just don't you can't I know everybody says that you can't use them butt connectors and they're right. So I'm gonna replace all this. Get it so that battery charges and that I don't have to keep replacing the battery. And uh, let's get started. All right, so something I got here was a seven-way cord. I don't know if you can see the part number. Get them on Amazon. I don't even know how much, 30, 40 bucks, whatever they are. But it's a breakout box. Of course, the wiring colors inside don't match the standard trailer wiring. But I stuck some LEDs in, labeled them, you know, right turn, left turn, your running lights. Uh, brake lights and a power feed that will keep the battery alive. Most trucks nowadays have a relay and a fuse that'll feed uh, power, auxiliary power on that plug. So what I'm gonna do is plug this in and, and show you. You can get extensions for these as well so you can test your brake lights and running lights without even getting out of the truck you just run another extension up there and hold on to it yeah, let me go turn the truck on here all right so i got the hazards on and my running lights on and that's on my brake connector you'll see just a little bit of a blip on there but at least it's showing that there's power on the brake connector and the truck is not running so there's no auxiliary power let me go start the truck see that one come to life. Oh, this thing is like twisty. Hold on. Alright, so now with the truck running, try and get out of the sun. You'll see this, this one right here. That's on. So that'll shut off when the key is shut off, so it'll save your battery. I don't. Alright, so they do give you a little diagram. I don't know why they don't use standard color codes, but there's what they got. I don't know if you can read it or not, but Usually your brown wire is your running lights. Here it's your right stop and turn. Green is your tail lights, and your yellow is your center auxiliary. So uh, don't use that. <laughs> don't use the what you'd think it would be. Follow their diagram. So I'm gonna try and mount it right where these wires go. So it's up out of the way, long enough to reach a couple different vehicles with different hitch lengths. And then we'll have to run another wire to feed that battery and fix the brake wire. So what I'm going to try and do here, I'll follow this wire back. And if all that looks good, I'll just cut it off up here close and then use that to splice it into the box. Then I don't have to mess with any wires back there if they're in good shape. All right, the wiring cable on this trailer is in really good shape. It's a molded piece, so there is no butt connectors or anything underneath the trailer there. It's pretty fancy. So I'm going to cut this off so I've got enough room to make, peel back the sheathing and make good connections inside the box. Then we'll get a good location for this. I think 
think that'll be a good spot right above the wires there's already a couple little brackets there for the wires to sit in which is amazing that they're still alive this trailer didn't I only used it once one winter so far so we'll mark and drill that Not gonna mount it yet, but that way I can do the wires a little easier. Make sure it works. All right, this should be a good spot. Cord reach is just fine. I think this is my longest reach. Too much coffee this morning apparently and I'm gonna need a Torx too the mounting bolts for this thing are Torx and I gotta take one out because it goes through the cover it's coming out pretty tough oh, you missed all the noise almost thought I was gonna snap it off there Right. So I probably didn't need to take the box off, but I need to extend this wire to get to that box. So instead of trying to do another solder joint or I'm not doing a crimp, I'll just run another, another wire possibly. this through one of these grommet holes probably that one
First we'll have to put some sealant on there because the uh, grommet's got too big of a hole. your brake wire, your blue wire from the truck that comes into this junction box and would normally have just went back to the blue wire on the trailer for the brakes. And then there's a, the safety feature of the battery that will feed back through this breakaway switch when this pulls out closes contacts and then that would feed the battery volt, this battery through that switch into an extra wire that they put in that goes back to the same electrical point on the trailer. So this blue wire that goes back is the same as this blue wire in the harness. I know it gets a little bit complicated, but the running lights are left and right and the ground, so I added an extra ground here. That goes back to that battery. I didn't have to do that, but I wanted to. And I could have just cut off this blue extra wire, but then that would have let a spot for corrosion to come in. So I'm just bringing it all back into this junction box. Can you see that? All right, so the trailer not plugged in to the truck. distribution block there's the connection to the battery so there's the ground there's the auxiliary from the truck but it's so on here so there's my 12.63 volts so I have continuity between the battery this trailer battery and here so now I'll go start the truck and we should watch charge voltage come up on that when I plug it in Fourteen point five one. So now my truck is charging this little battery. Fourteen point five one. should eliminate me having to replace that battery for a long time. Well, now I guess we better see if everything works, huh? Running lights. Let's see the running lights. Left blinker. left and you can see it there's the right should be good to go now I'll just bolt it down and call it good I'm not going to use stainless because if they do rust up and I need to take it apart, this quarter tonials will snap pretty easy.
pretty heavy duty bolts for that cover. Dab of silicone on the top of that for those two wires so that nothing gets in there. I did not shrink tube the fittings inside there because it's in a sealed container, so I'm not too worried about that. the biggest trick of all this is make sure if you wire this up you don't wire the brakes to this battery directly or you'll come out with a dead battery or brakes that are always engaged that won't be good all right a couple little zip ties which I probably don't need since there's these cool little brackets here. That's it. Nice professional job. Alright. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.